Hi everybody, Ms. Lee here. We're gonna go ahead and go over uh, Unit 8 Progress Check Part A, question number 15. Um, so this one's really similar to number 14 because it talks about some areas and there's uh, three intersection points. So one, two, three intersection points, uh, meaning that there's two areas that you're looking for the area of. So the region's bounded by the graphs of Y equals 2x over pi and y equals sine of x are shaded in the figure above. Uh, which of the following gives the sum of the areas of the shaded regions? So again, this is one of one of the ones that has a line, and you can tell which one's the line because it's straight, and that's going to be the equation of a line right here, which is the 2x over pi. So pi is just a constant, so treat it like it's constant. Uh, and so that's going to be uh, the line, and then y equals sine of x is obviously the curve. Okay, so um, as, as y'all should know, uh, when you have two areas, you want to split your integral into each of the two areas. Um, so, so you can either do that or you can do like the absolute value of the integrand, but you can see in the answer choices, there are no answer choices where they just take the absolute value of the integrand, so that's not going to be what they do here. Um, and so you can see very clearly A and B probably are not your answers because it doesn't look like they have split them. Uh, properly or split anything at all. And so your answer is probably going to be C or D based on um, what the whichever one properly splits it. So uh, we're going to do the left part first. So you can see that the intersection point is at negative pi over 2 and 0. And so from negative pi over 2 to 0, the top curve is going to be the line. So we should have 2x over pi and then minus sine of x because it's top minus bottom. So 2x over pi minus sine of x, that's this one right here. And then plus, on the right side, it should be uh, the top curve is sine of x, and then minus, and then the line, which is 2x over pi, uh, to uh, do from 0 to pi over 2. And that would be answer choice C. So uh, answer choice D does something similar, but opposite. So it does like bottom minus top. So with answer choice D, you're going to end up with a negative answer. And so answer choice C is going to be the one that gets you that positive and correct answer. Okay, so if you have any questions, feel free to email me or come to office hours. Happy day.